the Comedy Forecast Network. Let's dog ear this for now. Comedy Forecast, episode 367. E! Exclamation point. Comedy Forecast is powered by its patrons. To support the show and get episodes before everyone else, visit patreon.com and search for Comedy Forecast. All one word with the number four. Or just go to comedyforecast.com and click on the Patreon link on the right hand side of the page. In this episode, we talk about fame, visit a country bear, find out how a bill becomes law, and more. Come on, let's get to the forecast. Item one of four. Hi, folks. Clinton here. Welcome to, or welcome back to, Comedy Forecast. One of my favorite shows, The Soup, featuring Joel McHale, was just canceled. And I have mixed feelings about it. On the one hand, I will miss seeing Joel, especially since the other show he was on, Community, is also gone. (sighs) Hey, where's our and a movie? On the other hand, that means I will never have to watch the cable channel E! exclamation point ever again. No more tuning into the show and accidentally catching the last few minutes of an episode of Botched, an actual show, an actual show about elective cosmetic surgery to fix self-indulgent cosmetic surgery. Or how about Fashion Police, a show where a panel of poorly dressed experts trash the clothes other people wear. Yeah, it's kind of like Mystery Science Theater 3000 just without any entertainment value whatsoever. But the worst is when I tune in to E! exclamation point a bit early and catch the last few minutes of an episode of Keeping Up With The You Know Who's. Honestly, 30 seconds of that show feels like 30 minutes. Oh, look, there's Kim and Chris sitting in the kitchen, badly acting out a rehearsed reality scene that involves them talking about absolutely nothing at all. They say that that family is full of people that are famous for, well, for being famous, and they've made millions doing it. Well, if they can do it, I wonder if I can do something similar. So stand back, folks. I'm going to attempt to become famous for not being famous. Now, this is a tricky one, folks. Because if my efforts are successful, well, how will I know? I I guess if I don't hear anyone talking about me, that's a good sign. An even better sign will be that Joel McHale doesn't mention me on the soup. Oh yeah, E! exclamation point just canceled the soup. Damn you, E! exclamation point! Item two of four. Well, hi to there, friends. Welcome back to the Country Bear Collector Show. Today on the show, I'm going to try something a little different. This is a package I just received from a fan. And well, I'm going to do a good old-fashioned unboxing right here on the show. I have a pair of Country Bear scissors here that I reviewed on the last episode. See, there's Teddy Bear right there on the handle. And I'm going to use these to carefully open up this package. Here we go. Now this package came from a viewer named Anonymous. And I can tell by the little cancellation mark on the package that Anonymous lives in one of my favorite places ever, Orlando, Florida. That, of course, is the home of Walt Disney World and the home of the Country Bear Jamboree. Of course, there used to be a Country Bear Jamboree in Disneyland, too. But now it's just poo. Ah, there we go. That's got it. Well, there's certainly something big inside of here. Uh, It's kind of bulky. Let me just pull it out. Well, it's real furry, too. The fact is, it's all fur. What in tarnation? Well, it looks kind of like, now pardon the expression, a, a bearskin rug. But there's so much of it. This would have had to come off a mighty big, uh, well, uh, 
Oh, friends, I, I think, um, I think this is actually Big Al's hide. Well, no, it, it can't be. It can't. It... Oh, wait. Yeah, it's him. Here's his orange vest right here at the bottom of the package. Well, this is horrible. Friends, I know you love the Country Bear Collector show and all, but please, I draw the line at skinning the bears. Okay, well, I, I guess I have to give a Paul rating for this uh, collectible, and and really, I have no choice. I have to give it four Pauls. Friends, I, I'm absolutely creeped out beyond the capacity for rational thought, but honestly, you don't get any more authentic than the actual fur off a country bear's back. Okay, well, I don't think we'll be doing any... Oh, boy. I don't think we'll be doing any more live unboxing. Uh, thinking back, it was probably a bad idea. But what do you think about this country bear Big Al hide? Uh, let me know. Oh, boy. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, uh, and thanks for tuning in to the Country Bear Collector Show. Oh, boy. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Item three of four. Good morning, Mr. President. Uh, good morning, Billy. Lovely morning, isn't it? Uh, what have you got for me today? Well, we have a few bills that have come up from the Congress for your signature. All right. I've got my pen ready. Show me the blank space and uh, I'll write my name. That was a joke, Billy. Oh, <laughs> I love a good joke, as soon as I know about it. All right, enough small talk. Let's get to it. I have another appointment in a few minutes. Yes, sir. This first one is a bill that would reclassify peanut butter as a fruit. Wait a minute, Billy. Didn't Congress try to reclassify chocolate as a fruit last week? Yes, Mr. President. Well, what the heck is going on? It's part of their attempt to revise the food pyramid to just include the foods people eat already. They also redrew the pyramid as a pie, and then reclassified pie as a vegetable. Well, I don't see the harm in that. Just don't tell the First Lady. All right. This next one is the new highway funding bill. But... They've attached a rider to it. It bans schools from discussing the kissing bug. The disease-carrying insect? Well, why the heck would they want to ban that? They claim that talk about the kissing bug would lead to talk about the love bug, and that would lead to talk about the bed bug. Honestly, Billy, this sort of thing makes me angry. I think you can tell uh, just how angry I am. Oh, yes, sir. You're practically seething. I apologize. Unfortunately, we need that highway funding, Billy. So I'm going to sign this one. It looks like once again it's up to the parents of America uh, to educate their kids uh, about the dangers of the triatomini. Sir? That's uh, the scientific name for the kissing bug. Ah! That's why you're the president, Mr. President. Uh, actually, you don't have to know that kind of thing to be president. But uh, it helps when you sit down with Vladimir Putin. When he starts droning on about wrestling a bear while he's shirtless on horseback, I toss in a few phrases like uh, Ursa Maritimus and Equus Cabalus, and he stares at me like a deer caught in the headlights. Science! Yes, Mr. President. Now, uh, are there any more bills to sign? Just this one, sir. It involves climate change. Oh, boy. Exactly, sir. They're always trying some new way to block progress. Honestly, Billy, 
They make things so complicated. Well, the good news, Mr. President, this time it's much more straightforward. Well, lay it on me. It seems that this bill would revoke the Standing Defunding Act authorized to counter the previous override used to block the prior initiative that would have been used to increase the funding that the initial bill sought to earmark in order to set up an independent committee to research the research the second bill attempted to use to form the basis of the law that would establish uniform rules for all states pursuant to the standardization of the proposed biannual goals. Uh, actually, that is less complicated than last time. But, uh, do I sign this one or not? Honestly, Mr. President, I have no idea. All right, uh, I'll sign it. But I'm going to put next week's date on it. Sir? Oh, believe me. If Congress thinks they pulled one over on me, they'll make a big deal about it as soon as uh, they can. This way, I have plenty of time to stop them. I do the same sort of thing with my checking account all the time. Mr. President, what's a checking account? All right, Billy. You're a millennial. I get it. Now, is there anything else? No, sir! Great. Because I've got to go inspect some upgrades to uh, Air Force One. Oh, what changed? They uh, added an extra row of seats in the press section of the plane. Um, won't that make things a bit uncomfortable for them? Only if they did it right, Billy. Only if they did it right. Item four of four. Hi folks, Clinton here again. I just received an email from loyal listener Anuj Sharma, who writes, Hi Clinton, was catching up on my comedy forecast episodes today and heard episode number 365. It was a great episode as always. <laughs> well, thank you. However, it was so fascinating to learn about the phrase, let's dog ear this for now, as I've always wondered how that unusual phrase came about. And I also wanted to congratulate you that the phrase is now getting accepted slowly and gradually in popular lexicon because it was so cool to hear Brian say it on Family Guy. Yes, it was. It indeed is an achievement, and hopefully we will even hear the POTUS say it in his presidential address someday. We'll see. I am going to do my part and make this phrase popular here in India by using it wherever I can in my conversation. Once again, thank you so much for all the laughs and smiles, Clinton. You are doing an amazing job. Your fan, Anuj Sharma. Thank you so much, Anuj, and thank you for writing in. I'd like to remind people that you can always leave me feedback or comments on the show, whether you live in India, Indiana, or even someplace that doesn't begin with I. I always give the contact information at the end of the show, which is probably coming up pretty soon. Special thanks this episode to Grant Rachoko. Check out his actual country bear collector show at www.cbjcollector.com. My goodness, look at the time. Oh, is it that time already, Sir Patrick? Let's wrap this up, shall we? Right, okay. Well, if you have any comments about this episode, why not call the super secret phone line at area code 360-515-0004? The phone not your thing? That's okay. Drop us an email at comedyforecast, all one word with the number four, at gmail.com. Follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and you can find all the episodes at comedyforecast.com. You can also subscribe via iTunes, Stitcher, or wherever else fine podcasts are listed. As always, this is Sir Patrick Stewart. And I'm Clinton. Saying, that's, that's it. it. We're, We're done, 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 done. 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 Bye-bye.